Today we'll be comparing the Segway X160 versus the Suron to figure out how much better is the Suron and is the Segway X160 even worth buying. In our last videos, we tested both bikes separately, but this time we'll be putting them side by side to compare the little details including torque, range, riding, app connectivity, and more. We bought our Segway X160 directly from Amazon, and at the time it was on sale for $3,000 instead of the full price of $3,500. It's also been on sale at other sites like wellbots.com, so we'll put links in the description to some deals. Our X160 came with free shipping and shipped in a large box through UPS, and we had to assemble some of the components like the front wheel, handlebar, and brakes. For the Suron, we bought it used locally for $3,000 with about 150 miles on the odometer, and it's the latest 2020 model with the X controller. The Suron can be bought new from lunacycles.com for $3,600, which is the only authorized vendor of the Suron in North America. You also need to pay shipping, which they charge $180 for ground. Looking at the build of the bikes, they are both made by Suron in the same factory but Segway rebrands and distributes the smaller version as the X160 to stores like Amazon, Best Buy, and more. The main differences in specs between the bikes are the following. The Segway feels a lot smaller in size due to the 17-inch wheels, but it still has a great power-to-weight ratio. And because it has a larger 48-tooth sprocket and smaller wheels, it still has plenty of torque off the line. Watch how it takes off the line next to the Suron. However, when it comes to top speed, this is when the Suron overtakes the X160 with a 50 miles per hour top speed compared to 31 miles per hour. The battery for the X160 is smaller in density compared to the Suron battery, so it weighs less, but it's the same size case. We did try putting our X160 battery into the Suron and it does seem to power it. When it comes to range, Segway advertises up to 40 miles of range on the X160, while Lunacycles advertises over 40 miles of range for the Suron. In our tests, we found the X160 range to be much less than advertised, coming in at only 10 to 15 miles if you are going full speed in sport mode on the street. For off-road riding, we were able to do 45 minutes of riding in sport mode. Meanwhile, the Suron's larger battery got us at 23 miles of off-road riding at speeds of 30 to 45 miles per hour, while also making a quick stop in a sand pit. The Segway X160 has Bluetooth and phone app, which is a unique feature that the Surons do not have. Using the app, you can also quickly adjust the speed modes, which includes the twisting force of the throttle and a limited or high power output setting. From the main screen, you can also turn on or off regen braking, and you can also track your rides, which uses GPS and calculates total miles, ride time, and max speed. It also saves all your rides and displays a map so you can play back where you rode. While the Suron doesn't have an app or Bluetooth connectivity, it does come with an included dongle that hooks up between the bike harness and the battery in order to program the regen levels. Using the handlebar as a toggle switch, you can change between three settings of regen or you can turn it off completely. Looking at other differences in specs, the Suron comes with both a dual LED front headlight and a rear taillight, which turn on when the bike is powered on, but there's no switch to turn them off. Meanwhile, the X160 does not come with lights, but we found that we could easily attach LED bike lights from Surface. One minor difference between the X160 and the Suron is the throttle. While the Suron comes with a cable throttle, the X160 comes with an electronic throttle. However, we did easily upgrade the throttle on our Suron to a quarter-turn electric throttle by Magura. Another point to mention is the branding. The X160 has tons of Segway branding all over it. A few of those are decals, which you can remove. For the Suron, it ships with the bare frame and includes green decals that you can apply yourself. Finally, for the price, many will say that the Suron is a much better deal, and we agree that for the price, the Suron is a much better deal. However, the Suron is also known to sell out and could take months to ship. Meanwhile, we were able to get our X160 from Amazon on sale and delivered in just three days. With Amazon, you also have a 30-day return window if you don't like it, and you can send it back with free shipping. We also think the X160 is a perfect beginner bike, especially for teens and kids looking to get going quickly and progress as riders. It also makes for a great second bike for anyone interested in e-bikes and what they have to offer. Alright, that's it for now. 
We'll put links in the description below to the best deals on the X160 and the Suron. Next up, be sure to watch our reviews of more electric bikes like the Super 73, Onyx RCR, and Monday Gen 7.